Welcome to Garland's Armor Force Application Excellence video. The following instruction will require work near the roof perimeter, so please remember to follow safety protocol during installation. Let's start by taking a look at the supplies you will need to complete the installation. The Armor Force system is comprised of three main parts. The aluminum base anchor and base anchor splice plate secure the system even in extreme wind pressures. The patented thermoplastic elastomer compression seals provide the perfect level of tension. And finally, the fascia covers and matching fascia splice plates provide the custom, clean appearance. Additional accessories include Garland's Greenlock Sealant XL, corners, spillout and downspout scuppers, and the fasteners required to attach the system to the edge. Now let's begin the installation process. First, the base anchors. Make sure the roof's field base ply is folded over the roof edge to fully cover the wooden nailers. Next, the cap sheet should be installed with the side edge in line with the edge of the roof. Do not fold the cap ply over the edge of the roof. Once both the field base and cap plies are attached, install the inside and outside corner base anchors. Apply Greenlock Sealant XL to the underside of the top flange of the base anchor. Set corner base anchors in place and fasten through all of the pre-punched holes with provided fasteners. Place base anchor splice plate into the groove on the corner base anchor on both sides. Lightly tap the splice plate with a rubber mallet until the splice plate is fully on the corner base anchor. Next, install the remainder of the base anchors. Apply Greenlock Sealant XL to the base anchor and with a member of the crew at each end of the anchor, carefully set it as close as possible to the previously fastened anchor piece on the roof's edge. Then slide the new base anchor towards the fastened base anchor with the base anchor splice plate. Use a shim to properly measure a quarter inch gap between the base anchors to allow for thermal expansion and contraction. Run a single bead of Greenlock Sealant XL in the gap between adjoining base anchors. Then tap the base anchor splice plates into position halfway on each adjoining base anchor. Then use the provided fasteners to fasten the base anchor through the pre-punched holes, fastening the center hole first. From the center moving outward, continue to fasten through each hole. Repeat these steps to complete the base anchor installation along all roof edges where armor force is to be installed. After all base anchors are installed, we'll move to the next phase, compression seals. Start by placing the first compression seal directly over the first base anchor joint in the provided slot. No adhesive is required for this step. Place the second compression seal at 40 inches on center from that point, then the third at 40 inches on center from the second compression seal. Finally, the last compression seal will be inserted over the next base anchor joint. Continue this pattern to install the remainder of the compression seals around the Armor Force system. When that is done, we'll begin to install fascia covers. Just as we did with the base anchors, start with the inside and outside corners. Place a compression seal on either side of each corner as shown. Then insert fascia cover splice plate for both sides into the corner fascia cover. Half of the splice plate should still be exposed. To install the fascia cover, put even pressure on the cover and press straight down. Do not rotate the cover. The top flange will snap first, then the bottom. Check that the top and bottom flanges are fully engaged with the base anchor. After completing each of the corner pieces, install the remainder of the roof edge. Start by setting a splice plate over the far side base anchor joint and compression seal. With one crew member at each side of the 10 foot cover piece, set the cover in place one quarter inch from the adjoining cover. Starting at one edge, press straight down with even pressure. Do not rotate the cover. Work your way down the length of the cover, ensuring that both the top and bottom flanges engage with the base anchor. Repeat these steps until all fascia covers and fascia cover splice plates are installed. While the techniques shown here may apply to most projects, this video cannot cover all situations. We encourage you to contact your local Garland representative with any product or installation questions.